what's going on you guys my name is scott welcome to my youtube channel i apologize for my voice you guys i've been out here working in some very nasty weather for about four days now and i've got like an upper respiratory crud but today i wanted to show you guys the biggest job that i've gotten so far and why it has been a nightmare All right, guys, before we get going, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you come over here and click subscribe. We've got a lot more content coming to you. Leave us a comment, and I'll ask you a question at the end of this video, so make sure you watch it to the end. As you can see, we are on a solar farm, you guys. This is our biggest job we've gotten so far. We started out just cleaning storefront windows about six months ago, and now we are doing big solar jobs, which, hey, that's a blessing. That's what happens when you put God first in your life. Huge solar job, right? We get out here and the owner tells us look these things haven't been cleaned in five years and i'm thinking well i got a new brand new water fed pole i think it'll only take three days to do it so i quoted it for three days worth of work so now that i'm on day four and i've got about two and a half days left i'll probably end up losing probably eight or nine hundred dollars on this job and i underbid it probably by three grand or more because these things have not been cleaned in five years and they look like this this is like pure nastiness and it's all the way down the entire solar panel it's just nasty and you may be saying well dang scott what the heck is that on there well i'll tell you is that that is a paper mill so when the wind's blowing right now it's blowing this way but when it's blowing this way it's blowing all that nastiness and crud on these solar panels and it's just sitting there for five years and every time it rains it just rinses down and gets stuck right there so they're losing a ton of power so we're here to make it better right all right so day one this is why it's been a nightmare <coughs> day one we get out here i am new to water fed polling and the very first problem we run into is we're having to haul our own water in here i've got a 200 and 50? I think it's, I got think I got a 250 gallon water tank on my trailer. For some reason, don't laugh at me. I was thinking that the water fed pole would run just off of the gravity of the water. Hey, don't judge me. So that didn't work. We got out here within the first five minutes. We figured that that was not going to work. I said, okay, we're here. Let's let's do something. So we fired up my pressure washer, turned the power way down and put a J rod on. So we reduced the power even more. And I had one of my employees uh, start mopping these solar panels with a window mop, the same ones we clean windows with. And it was working pretty good. And we just kept having to go back and get water. And I was using the pressure washer to knock off all this, this crud that I showed you just a few minutes ago. And that works great. That's, we're still having to do that because the stuff is just it's just there. Uh, I tried putting some simple green and stuff on it. It wasn't really, wasn't really touching it. So we're knocking it off, and then we're coming back and mopping them. Well, the day before yesterday, my wife and my daughter and my employee, we were all out here working together, and they decided they were going to get, you know, a uh, a kickstart in their lives, and they just went ahead and just went on way ahead of me and started mopping and and trying to get done with everything and i was like hey that might be that might work the problem was by the time i got around to rinse it after it dried it looked like we had poured chocolate milk all over every single one of these panels that we had done so we lost a full day of work because i'm having to come back now and re-rinse them and scrub them with the water fed pole and they're turning out great the problem is we don't have a water source so my water fed pole was not getting pressure right so thanks to my business coach, Eric Bland, he showed me where to get a, an electric pump. I got a 12 volt electric pump. I got this one off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. I got my water fed pole from Detroit Sponge. This is only an 18 footer. It's all I really need for these right now. Um, so what I did, because I don't have water source, I don't have a water hose to pressure this thing is i ran it directly out of my my water tank i got me a deep cycle battery to power the pump it's all plumbed over to my unger water fed pole system but here's the deal i took the i took the resin bag out 
because I would go through so much resin out here, it's not even funny. So I'm running just water through there to the water fed pole to the solar panels and it's working great. A lot of people are like, oh my God, you're supposed to use just pure water on there. Let me tell you something. I am in the middle of a cow pasture and it's going to rain on it either way. And it's getting all this nastiness from this plant. <coughs> So leaving a little bit of water spots on these things is probably the last of my worries today and tomorrow and the next day. These things look great. They haven't been cleaned in five years. They look a lot better now. I guarantee you they gained 20 to 30% power back as good as these things are looking now. So we just started cleaning windows about six months ago. You guys started out doing storefronts and residential and it's been a blessing. We're still doing those. And uh, six months later, thanks to my business coach a whole lot of prayer and just making relationships with people we are we are doing solar fields and it's been great so far you guys it's a lot of work a whole lot of work and we're going to invest in a lot more equipment to make this go a little faster but as of right now it's going great so uh yeah what was your first big job you guys did it go good did you lose money did you make money let me know in the comments below you guys i hope you guys are enjoying these videos make sure you subscribe give us a thumbs up leave me a comment god bless